Have you any time contemplated whether we're truly alone in the universe, or on the off chance that there's something else to our existence other than whatever we see? Envision a situation in which the James Webb Telescope finally exhibits that we live inside a black hole. Join us as we figure out more about this world-breaking news that will make you question all that you assumed you had some consciousness of the universe. So, what unequivocally are black holes? They're like something out of a terrible dream. Sure, you might have seen them in sci-fi movies, but what's entirely more disturbing is that they're not just fiction. As demonstrated by specialists, black holes in space are in actuality immense proportions of matter gotten into an incredibly small area. Consider a star, on various occasions more immense than the sun, all packed into a circle the size of New York City. The gravitational pull is so outrageous that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Specialists have been hypnotized by black holes for quite a while. From that point onward, they considered objects in space so colossal and dense that they could trap light. The most well-known thoughts regarding black holes were anticipated by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Essentially, at the moment that a tremendous star dies, it abandons a minute, dense core. If this core's mass is on various occasions that of the sun, gravity overwhelms everything else, provoking the formation of a black hole. Recognizing black holes is no straightforward assignment, since they emanate no light. However, scientists have found ways to interpret their presence by observing their effects on nearby matter. For example, if a black hole goes through a haze of interstellar matter, it pulls the matter toward it in a process called accretion. Moreover, when a normal star gets excessively near a black hole, it can get annihilated, releasing X-rays as it does so. Black holes similarly have an immense impact on their surroundings, they can consume nearby stars, produce solid gamma-ray bursts, and even affect the development of new stars in certain regions, while slowing it down in others. But where do black holes come from? Picture this, stars, once brilliant and shining, meet their conclusive end in a tremendous explosion called a supernova. From the ashes of these fallen giants, black holes emerge. Most black holes are born from massive stars that have reached their cosmic retirement party in a supernova. However, more unassuming stars, when they die, change into something many refer to as neutron stars, which are truly dense but not dense enough to trap light. In any case, if a star is on various occasions the mass of our sun, it collapses under its own gravitational force, forming a black hole. As these strong stars collapse, something extraordinary happens near their surfaces, time itself begins to play tricks. From the perspective of someone far away, time appears to slow down near the event horizon, the last turning point for anything falling into a black hole. It's as if the star's clock ticks at a different speed compared to our own. Now and again, when two smaller black holes collide, they merge to form an even more colossal and terrifying black hole. On the off chance that a black hole teams up with a neutron star, they create a monstrous nightmare that defies comprehension. Analysts have been grappling with the size of these boundless anomalies for a truly prolonged stretch of time. Black holes come in two sizes, huge and small. There's an insidious mystery surrounding them that we still can't fully unravel. However, here's the twist, small is relative when it comes to black holes. Stellar mass black holes, remnants of enormous stars, can be as massive as 10 to 100 times the size of the sun. There could be as many as 10 million to a billion of them in the Milky Way alone. That's a cosmic number of black holes that could swallow anything in their way. But wait, there's something even more colossal. At the farthest edge of the scale are supermassive black holes, millions if not billions of times greater than the sun. They exist at the centers of gigantic galaxies, including our own Milky Way, like a massive dead space that's pulling everything toward it. Esteemed physicist Stephen Hawking discussed black holes throughout his life. His theories were mostly brilliant, though some couldn't be confirmed due to a lack of appropriate equipment. However, there's hope on the horizon. A single scientific instrument is changing everything. It's called the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and it's here to dive into the depths of our universe. Let me tell you, the JWST is no ordinary telescope. It's an engineering marvel, a testament to human ambition. Sure, we've launched other space telescopes before, and they've done their jobs well, but this one is on a whole different level. The JWST makes the Hubble, which has faithfully served us for decades, look like a simple piece in the cosmic puzzle. The retail cost of this astronomical marvel is a staggering $10 billion. Yes, you heard that right, enough zeros to make your head spin. It took the combined efforts of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency to bring this miracle to life, alongside significant contributions from over 300 universities. But we shouldn't forget the stakes that come with such an incredible endeavor. This isn't a mission for the faint of heart. The JWST is venturing into uncharted territory, 
pushing the boundaries of what we know, and taking us to places we've only dreamed of. After a successful launch, NASA recently announced that the telescope has enough fuel to last more than 10 times its base mission life expectancy. Since its launch, the JWST has made numerous impressive achievements. It traveled over 1 million miles to reach its orbit around the Sun, where it will reside permanently. During its journey, the telescope deployed its massive five-layer sunshield and primary mirror, both of which had to be folded to fit into the launch vehicle. Not long after, NASA aligned and adjusted the telescope, and now it's ready to go into full operation. One of the most exciting moments came when NASA announced that the telescope had captured its first image of starlight. The first image taken by the telescope was of a star called HD 8446, resulting in a pattern of 18 scattered bright spots from the star's light, caught by the 18 mirror segments on the primary mirror. NASA later released another stunning image of HD 8446, in which 18 unfocused copies of the star were aligned in a hexagonal pattern. Once the observatory fine-tunes the individual pieces of the primary mirror, it will begin the image stacking process, combining the 18 images into one clear view. Thanks to its advanced technology, the JWST will help researchers explore the early stages of the universe after the Big Bang. It will focus on what happened after the first stars formed, a period known as the Epoch of Reionization, when neutral hydrogen was ionized by radiation from these first stars. This involves looking back billions of years, which is only possible with a powerful telescope like the JWST. The telescope will also help scientists find exoplanets, which are extremely difficult to detect due to their interactions with their host stars. Its strong sensors can observe these planets in more depth, and in some cases, even image their atmospheres. Understanding the atmospheres and development conditions of planets could help researchers better predict whether specific planets are habitable. Beyond studying the formation of galaxies, researchers are also looking at how matter is organized on a massive scale. This, in turn, allows us to understand how the universe evolved. The spiral and elliptical galaxies we see today developed from various shapes over billions of years. One of the JWST's goals is to look back at the earliest galaxies to better understand their evolution. Scientists are also working to figure out how we ended up with the variety of galaxies we see today and the processes that cause galaxies to form and merge. But most importantly, the James Webb Space Telescope will help us answer one of the biggest questions of all, are we alone in the universe? And are we living inside a black hole? The JWST is already on the hunt, and guess what it found? Compounds called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, lurking around enormous supermassive black holes in three active galaxies. These carbon-based molecules with ring-like structures are like the goths of the universe, they're everywhere, from distant galaxies to comets in our solar system. They're fascinating not only because they could be building blocks of life, but also because they help astronomers trace the development of stars. When ultraviolet radiation hits these PAHs, they emit infrared light, a signal that can be detected by the JWST's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. This usually indicates the presence of hot, young stars nearby. But wait for the plot twist. A bold astrophysicist, Ismail Garcia Bernard from Oxford University, decided to investigate three different galaxies, NGC 6502, NGC 731, and the creepily famous Stefan's Quintet. These systems are millions of light years away in the depths of space. What Garcia Bernard found will make your hair stand on end. In the central regions where supermassive black holes reign, he discovered an abundance of PAHs. Sounds great, right? Well, here's the creepy part. The radiation near those supermassive black holes reshaped the PAHs, altering their chemical structure and transforming them into larger, electrically neutral versions of themselves. The smaller, charged PAHs vanished into darkness. Imagine being swallowed by the darkness itself. But hold on, there's a glimmer of hope. The larger PAHs managed to survive by hiding inside dense, cold gas clouds. It's like they found their own shelter against the black hole's fury. Now, you might ask why this dark turn matters. Well, it's a big problem for astronomers who rely on PAHs to track star formation. Star-forming regions are usually filled with PAHs, acting like tiny beacons of light. However, when black holes enter the picture and start devouring everything nearby, those signals become warped or vanish completely. It's as if the stars themselves get erased from the cosmic map.